wake up, wake up. Gotta get this paper, get this cake up. And welcome back to the vlog. So, as you can see, today I'm in a different location. I'm in the kitchen, and as you've read from today's title, I'm gonna be making you guys a banana smoothie. I'm gonna be showing you how I do my banana smoothie. We have these smoothies for breakfast and lunch. So, like, and these banana smoothies can't stay for long, especially for me, because I'm using an ovary uh, ovary ripe bananas. So it you just have to make them more often your bananas is here we can we don't want to throw away anything so if you're new and you've not subscribed please kindly make sure you do subscribe if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the family yeah and with no further ado i'm gonna be showing you the ingredients because i already have them set up already and hope you guys enjoy so guys this is all i'll be using for my smoothie i'm gonna use the bananas as you can see they are overly light ripe oh my god they're ovary ripe that's why i'm gonna use this and they're usually so sweet of course we're gonna need us some milk i'm gonna use i'm gonna put in some danias as well i've got the flax seed and the chia seeds right here and also you have to get yourself a blender i'm gonna put them in this jar so yeah with no further ado let's just get started so guys first off i'm gonna start by peeling off my bananas Oh my god, see, they are so overrated, right? But they are the best for the smoothies. Because the smoothie becomes so sweet, so yummy. You don't need to add honey or anything else. Oh my god, it's disgusting. But the outcome will be the best. I'm going to be putting them in this jug. I don't want to chafu up your bowl using a variety of stuff. So I'm just going to cut them like in three times. You should not fill up your blender until it's maximally full because it tends to destroy your blender this is an old blender we destroyed actually a new one we destroyed this which was like my favorite it was huge and all that but now it was so full and then it just stopped working it's supposed to come and get fixed because it's still very very new that's why i'm using this one and for now taking it precautions so after putting all my bananas i'm gonna go ahead and add some milk we're just gonna add a little bit of milk a nice amount of milk actually there's kidogo of milk here so i think i'm just gonna go in with all of it because it was cut out already i found it in the fridge so after that i'm gonna go in and take my chia seeds I'm gonna, these are honey kachupa. We, bought, we buy chia seeds with those khaki things, but now, so I'm gonna put a teaspoon of it. This will be enough. Oh, I think I should add a, bit, a little bit more. And then the flax seeds are almost over. You guys can see how much we take milk uh, smoothies. So, also a tablespoon of the same of the flax seed. And uh, me when I'm in the kitchen I like if I'm done with something I like getting away with them like Maliza and that's it Nafunga I return them so Daniels I'm gonna use very few sticks I don't I know most of you are wondering Dania in your milkshake like are you crazy but is this something I had my boyfriend saying that uh, we should eat our fruits and blend our veggies so instead of blending bananas I should eat bananas and blend maybe cabbages uh, something like that sometimes i tend to cut the nini and leave the sticks but at times i saw my mom just putting them all in but now me i'm scared of these sticks they're so long 
so i just have to cut cut to leaves and then i'm gonna show you how the milkshake look or uh, the smoothie looks before blending and after blending so i'm gonna get rid of this so let me show you how it looks how it looks so let's go ahead and blend this so I don't know I use this socket because the lighting around here is okay yeah so I'm gonna use this socket and let me show you guys I'm blending see how it looks mm. so I'm gonna work on my serving I wanna try something else something new hope this turns out perfectly mm. meanwhile see how it looks oh, it looks so yummy so oh. so let me get a glass and maybe I was thinking of getting honey and smearing on the glass and then pour in my smoothie oh, that hangs out nicely so guys i already know the smoothie is as sweet as because the bananas were ripe like too much ripe so i know they are sweet 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 but for my that's why i'm using mine in a glass so i'm gonna smear some uh, honey on the glass i'm gonna show you guys how i'll do about that i've seen it somewhere i think in a restaurant where they put smoothies and then they smear honey on the side so i don't know if you guys can see this oh my god this hand is too sweet I'll do what i gotta do and then i'll come to you guys later so dogo dogo the neon but i hope that works oh my god look they have just smeared honey on the glass so let me take my smoothie look at it i want you guys seeing it dripping Ooh. isn't it beautiful mm. so it's the testing time Oh my god it's too sweet oh my god it's it's the best i know I, I have to taste for you guys but we've been having this for the last three days for breakfast because we have a lot of bananas which are over ripe and we need to get rid of them so instead instead of making tea we've been making uh, smoothies even for lunch and for dinner and i'm so excited for this if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below which other thing you'd like me to try out in the kitchen and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye
Thank you all for the support. I love you guys. Bye.